G'day guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be doing a Q&A. I wrote on Instagram for people to send me in questions. I got uh, well over 100, so um, obviously I'm not gonna be answering 100, but I do appreciate everyone who did send in a question. And let's get straight into it. Henry, when and how did you get into YouTube? It was about two years ago and I wasn't getting much radio work after I completed my radio course. So one of my lecturers and a legend of a bloke, Danny O'Grady said, um, to start YouTube or a podcast, so I did. Jack, what inspired you to start YouTube and who's your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is Joe Weller. It's a shame that he doesn't post as much as what we'd all like him to. And what inspired me to do YouTube? Probably just, yeah, seeing other people do it, seeing other people entertain me, and um, just being like, why can't I do that? Deadly Motlop wrote, do I like the Motlops? I love the Motlops. Some of the most exciting players I've ever seen. This bloke wrote, are you okay? Nah, I am. Thanks for asking. Most goals ever kicked in a game of footy, including lunchtime footy. Well, in lunchtime footy, I once kicked 33 goals in, in a sitting. Probably, I, I think I kicked five in a game. A couple of Joe the Gooses out the back, though. Steve D.W. Smith. Am I the great Australia captain of all time? Steve Smith, you're not. Ricky Ponting is. Deanna Bod, how old are you? I'm 22. Thoughts on Jaden Hunt? One of my favorite players. One of the most improved players in the AFL, and I think he's still got a lot of potential to fill, which is crazy. So, Tom wrote, who are you? And that's deep, and I'm not sure. Charlie, what is your favorite meal? Mum makes a good butter chicken. I do love an Indian curry. Dad makes a good, um, he makes good chicken pasties, which are elite, so any one of those. What school did you go to? I went to Grovey Primary in Geelong and I went to Oberon High School, the same school as Travis Boat, Paddy Dangerfield, um, the Delaney's that used to play for North, Tay Miles as well, came from there. So, so yeah, um, they all went to the same high school as me. Yeah. Have you ever been in the Melbourne Rooms? If you click the I button, um, one of my vlogs, I did go into the Melbourne Rooms. Um, yeah, it was good fun, it was sick. Got to talk to Jackie Watts, so check it out if you haven't. Jack Duff, hey mate, what do you think of the new Golden Gay Time ice cream singer? Well, I'm not really a Golden Gay Time sort of bloke, but we'll check it out. Here's one I prepared earlier. Yeah, Golden Gay Time, never really got around it, to be honest. But my mum is a massive advocate for Golden Gay Times. All right, let's see what all the fuss is about. This just looks disgusting, if I'm honest. Everyone loves these little nut bits, don't they? All right, here we go, taste testing the gay... The Gaden Gay Time. The Golden Gay Time singer. Honeycomb me the, the old Gay Time. See, not really for me, if I'm honest. What about this Bicky? What about this Bicky end? Nah. Not for me. Will, most embarrassing moment you've ever had. Now, I usually can't think of embarrassing moments because I like to forget about them, but. The other week, I was out having a few lemonades with the boys and um, I was at a club and I started walking through the D floor. I was going to the D floor with a couple of friends. This little ledge part before the D floor, so it's sort of like this little step up and people dance up here and people dance down here. And I got to the edge of it and it had a metal railing like around the outside, like most like little steps and ledges have. And it had a bit of drink on it. So I walked and put both my feet like on the end and stood and just slipped. <laughs> I fell so hard on my ass, I felt the dance floor go up me. And then they looked back at me, and I was like, I'm too embarrassed to come to the D floor now. So I took off and probably had a couple more sherbets. <laughs> what would you rate yourself at AFL Evolution 1 to 10? Do you ever win online games? I'm pretty serviceable. Uh, me and Mid of Bowl have some really good battles online. I would say I'm an eight. Eight and a half, probably. Alos, what do you hope to do in the near future with the channel and why? Good question. Um, I want to push it as far as I can go. I don't know if many of you know this, but I would like to not steer away from AFL content, but mix it up a lot more. If I got AFL players on the channel, I would like to do YouTuber type games with them. I wanted to be familiar with like what's worked so far, but I also love mixing it up with a, a chicken nugget beat test, a yes no video, something very different, something that um, is not quite familiar because it's the only way the channel's gonna grow, really. If I do AFL songs and goal kicking challenges, 
there's a bit of a ceiling with how far we can go in terms of subscribers and the reach and stuff. But if I mix it up every now and again, something else might take off and I would hope by the time it started to grow with other content, you guys were invested enough in me anyway. But that's getting complicated. I'm just gonna take it one video at a time and we'll see what happens. Quartz Bailey, thoughts on Lil Pump? Not for me. Kick Sun Dex, what is your personal favorite parody? Arazio and Stringer, 2017. Hawks 0 and 4. The Mr. Milky, do you think YouTube will ever become a full-time job for you? I don't know. I think it's sort of annoying that you look around and it seems like YouTube's sort of not quite the full-time work that it once was, especially with the ads and stuff. I'm not really sure how that all works, but um, no, I don't reckon it will. I just, for some reason, because I'm doing footy stuff, I don't actually see it becoming my full-time thing. I just see it being a stepping stone for other opportunities, but if it did become a full-time thing, I would take that with both hands. Benji, I love this question. What has motivated you to stick with the Ds through their tough time? It's a good question because it absolutely sucked, especially when I was young. Like when I was 13, 14, 15, and we were just getting pumped by 100 points every week. It was the worst thing ever. Especially when I love the footy club so much. I don't know, it's just, you keep the faith and you just, you get excited by the little things. You get excited by improvement. You get excited by draft picks, even though it took us five rebuilds. But yeah, you just, you're patient and you just know it's gonna get better sometime soon. And I'm hoping next year is the reward for the patience. When was the first time you were publicly noticed for being a YouTuber? I was washing dishes down at Anglesey and a young kid called Hamish um, said to one of the waitresses that he saw me working. So I went out after they finished their meal and said g'day and I only had about a thousand subs at the time. It was the first time anyone had, had noticed me and it was mind blowing. I couldn't believe the chances. <laughs> and yeah, a few times working with Kiss because I'm out in the suburbs, a few people have said g'day and then at the footy I've met a few of you. So it's been um weird. Like, it's just weird, it's a weird thing. It's cool, but it's odd. But um, yeah, if you ever see me, ever see me around, feel free to come up, I don't bite, so yeah. Henry, who supported you the most doing YouTube, mum or dad? Both Henry, um, both have been really supportive with me trying to do radio as well, which is, um, yeah, amazing. Jay McGrath, how could small YouTubers get bigger and bigger? See, I don't wanna be dishing out advice when I've got 10,000 subscribers. Because I feel like that's a bit, a bit rich. But as dumb as it sounds, consistent, like, I would just say consistently doing something and the audience will find you. And yeah, like I, I did it for eight months and had a, 150 subscribers. And I, like I wasn't gonna stop, I just kept going. And then all of a sudden, I got to 500 in like a week or something. And then from there, we just slowly grew. When I got to 1,000, I was like, I've made it. When I got to 5,000, I thought, this is crazy. And now we're at 10, and I feel like we've still only just started. But I've been doing this for two years consistently. Easily made over 150 videos. And yeah, just, you gotta do the work. Will Westcott, what's in the future for Kados? Continue to work at KISS. I'm living in Torquay at the moment, but I wanna move to Melbourne by next year. I'm really excited for 2018. I wanna push this as far as it can go. I'll be super keen to see where this channel's at next year. Um, yeah, I, I think next year is the, the year we step up. The Dosso Army come together and we push this boat as far as we can go. But apart from that, just um, I just want to keep taking steps. I want to keep moving, keep working. So what's my favourite song at the moment? My favourite song at the moment is this. Lucas, got a girlfriend. Jack, have you ever had a girlfriend? Jacob, when are you getting a girlfriend? You guys sound like my mum. No, I don't have a girlfriend. Have I ever had a girlfriend? I have. When am I getting a girlfriend? <laughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, couldn't tell you. I'll let that sort itself out. Alright guys, thanks so much for sending in the videos. This is a bit of a longer video, but... Um, I hope you guys do enjoy it. I keep smashing out the 14 videos in 14 days. I really want to get this challenge done. Um, I appreciate all the support. I appreciate everyone um, asking questions and following me on Instagram and um, yeah, just getting around me. It's amazing. 
and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.